Welcome to Jameson's Repair Shop. Uh, I've got that wheel balancer. I put a video up on uh, going to get it from the auction house. Now I'm uh, going to do a clean up on her. Just uh, sprayed her down with some spray nine. I'll give her a wipe down and I'll, uh, I'll balance the wheel. cleaned up okay a little bit of spray nine oh, she's not a hundred percent but she's not a new machine these were built between 1990 and uh, I forget now somewhere into the 2000s I did find the owner's manual uh, operators manual and install manual for these but the install is pretty simple you set it on the floor and plug it in weighs about a hundred pounds so anyway I got that done and uh, now this is all new to me tire balancing I never owned a tire tire balancer I did it in my dad's shop with a bubble balancer when we were young so that I'm familiar with but I've never used one of these and uh, I had a comment on the, the bringing home video the road trip video that it's a left hand side I, I again I never owned a tire tire balancer I had no idea that they had right and left sides this machine is made in Italy so possibly that's how they do it there. I have no idea. Anybody knows, leave me some comments. And yeah, comment on uh, anything you see that I might be doing wrong with this. Because again, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to follow the instructions. The instructions that uh, I found with it. And they don't seem to be identical to this machine, but very close. But yeah, again, this is new to me. Uh... I'm certainly not going to try to tell someone how to tire uh, tell someone else how to balance a tire that's in the business. So uh, this is an experiment for me. So I'll grab a tire. Okay, I got the wheel. I got her all uh, all shined up and I'll mount it on the on the machine. I don't have a lot of room to work here, so it it may be tight to see what I'm doing. So I'll put it on and I'll put this uh, tightening nut on there flange and this is a manual spin uh, balancer it's not a auto balancer so I'll be a Don and then I'll have to uh, I'll spin it by hand again this is a this is about one step up from a bubble balancer and I got my foot now I put my foot on the on the brake just to tighten up the make sure the wheel is snug there, good and snug. Now, to my understanding, there's some uh, adjustments that need to be made. See how much that tires out of balance. Look at that. So that's going to take some weight. Let's have a look. I got it filled with air to where it's supposed to be for road. All right. Will it stay there? Look at that. Just a touch. So definitely going to take a bit of weight on that one. So. All right, we'll get this machine turned on, and we'll just turn the switch on, <clears throat> and then we'll do a spin on her. Well, first we got to set it up. Sorry, that's my bad. Let's get her set up. So the first one, to my understanding, is the is the distance from the. You can see that or not, the distance from the frame to the rim. So we got the little gauge here, and fortunately, this one 
11, it actually reaches it at 11, number 11. I suspect that's in inches. Who knows? It could be centimeters in this group. I should measure that. I'm not 100% sure. Let me hold on. I'll get a measuring tape and see what these actually mean. Well, there you go. I have like about 30 measuring tapes around here, metric and, and uh, imperial. And I go to look for one and I can't find it. So all I have is an imperial one. It's definitely not inches. So they look to me like centimeters. And being made in Europe, it's probably centimeters. So I'm going to say 11 centimeters out. I believe you measure to the inside of that, that lip of the rim by the bead. So I'm going to say 11 centimeters. So I'll set this, set this up to 11. And like I say, if anybody sees something I'm doing wrong, leave it in the comments because uh, this is new to me. Now I've got to measure the, the width of the rim. And that's what these calipers are for, I guess. Let's give her a whirl, see what she's at. She's coming in at four and a half. That's a four and a half rim. So let's see what we have here. Down to 4.5. And the size of the tire, well, it's a 12-inch wheel. So let's go down to, to 12. And as far as I know, you got to give her a spin and see what happens. It's supposed to, according to the instructions, you give her a spin and it'll find the, the spot. And it'll uh, tell you when it's ready. The lights will come back on and the brake on. It looks like it needs two ounces on the... On the outside and two and a half on the inside. I kind of figured by the way it's doing its thing here, finding its own center of balance, that it's going to take a bit. So I have a few old weights here. I have a, let's see, there's a, okay, so I need 2.5 on the inside. So there's a 1.5 and there's a 1. What I got here? There's a 1.5, so I put that 1.5 on the inside with the other 1.5. I need better weights. I actually ordered some uh, adhesive weights, so I think there's enough space there to put the weights that I bought. They're, they're thin weights on there. Anyway, uh, this works. I'll just leave them. And then I have two one ounces. so <clears throat> let's find the, the center line. Oh, there we go. That's kind of it right there. And put my foot on the brake to hold it there. So that goes on the outside at the top. I believe that's what they, according to the instructions, that's the dealio. So let's see. There's one, one ounce on. And there's two one ounces on. So now I need these one and a halves. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, just on the inside. All right, look at that right there. So there's the, the inside one at the top. That on there. And we'll give her another spin after, see how she goes. I'm thinking I'm doing it right. All right, let's see what happens. That's her. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Tell me I did it right. Oh, out by an, uh, half an ounce on the outside. I wonder if I just move those a little bit. It'll be enough to, enough to make the difference. The inside seems fine. Let's, yeah, now it's asking for a half ounce over here. I'm going to move them just a slight bit. Sometimes that's all you need as far as I know. I've seen it done in tire shops, but... Again, I've never done this myself, so I'll just see. It seemed to want to go. All right, let's re-spin re it. See what happens without those two weights on there. <clears throat> All right, two ounces again, it says. Yeah, this, the inside stays the same, so that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. So let's see if I can get this right this time. All right, come on. Where'd you go? I went by it, I think. Oh, there we go. All right. So I, I'm going to 
find the edge and I'm going to go the other way just a little tiny bit just get on the edge of it because that seemed to be where it wanted me to put the other half ounce all right I think these are the right weight yeah one and one yeah I'm going to make sure the right using the right uh, weights all right all, all fun stuff I guess all right, let's get this a little further out, maybe it'll help. All right, give her a spin now, see what happens. There, that turned out good. Well, I must have done something right then. So you can actually, according to the manual, you can actually uh, see how, because it doesn't register below, doesn't seem to register below a half ounce. So when you push, there's another button right here. And now it's 0.10 of an ounce and 0.2 of an ounce. So I guess if you had really issues with it, but I mean, it's all within range, I'm sure. Uh, if you wanted to really hone it in, you could go for those little bits of weight. But considering it was out almost four, uh, four and a half ounces, uh, in total, uh, before I did this, and I'm doing this on dynamic. And uh, if no, if you're not familiar, according to what I read, is that these are for the different rims, aluminum three, two, one, and then the static is just for up and down, and then the dynamic is nothing's lit for dynamic, and it does up, down, and sideways. That's my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. So I don't want to be, I don't want to be out here misinforming people. Uh, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that unknowingly uh, and uh, feel good about myself. But if I know I'm doing it, I'm not going to feel good. So there it is. There's the Seb, Seb, or however you pronounce it, wheel balancer in action. I think I'm going to get a lot of use of this thing. So far, I have because that wheel, if I had put that on that little trailer we're building, probably would have shaken uh, all the upper structure quite a bit. And if you have two that are out, you're really going to shake it. So there's my first balance, and I'm glad you came along for it. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, looking forward to seeing you on the next video.